Hey Casita trailer owners. Today we're going to talk about uh, yellowing of uh, plastic uh, from UV light. Um, this of course is the front light, uh, utility light. Um, my trailer is less than a year old. Uh, it's already going pretty darn yellow. Uh, I've cleaned it up some with ammonia. It was actually much more yellow. Another thing that's happen, happening is that it's becoming brittle. And uh, the reason why this is happening is because the manufacturer is using a cheap grade of plastic, not using a UV resistant plastic. If you look very carefully here, you can see that where the light shield, I have it off here of course, is uh, hiding the plastic. It's the color it was when it was installed, which is the same color as the trailer. And now of course it's it's nothing like the color of the trailer. I mean, uh, this is, uh, you know, white, and what we have here is, uh, you know, ivory at best. Now, if we come down on the side of the trailer, you know, we've got this fixture here, which is, of course, yellowing like hell. And uh, you have the vent, which was, in mine, horribly yellow after eight months. And, uh, well, I just painted it. Now, I'm doing a little bit of an experiment here with the painting. I'm sure if you go look out at uh, yours, I really should have done a before-after picture here, but uh, if you go look at yours, you'll see if you haven't touched it, it's, a, it's really a pukey, crappy-looking yellow, and it probably has stains all over it. Um, this is frontline made vent is again made out of a really crappy grade of plastic, which, you know, turns a, almost a, a gray poupon Dijon yellow within six, seven months. So uh, on the vent here, I hand brushed on with a foam brush, a Krylon product. It's a Krylon um, acrylic latex or latex acrylic enamel. Yeah, latex acrylic enamel. And uh, so uh, I'm going to see how this holds up. They say it's scrubbable and for indoor and outdoor use. So. Uh, We'll see how it uh, works. Usually in the boat industry, we stick with uh, polyurethanes, and one of the easiest things to do is to use a one-part polyurethane, either like a pet Easy Poxy paint or a uh, bright side made by Interlux. So we're going to try putting some uh, bright side Interlux on these uh, light fixtures over here, the frames for them. Uh, this is a satin finish, which I thought would be much better. And it's easier to do a satin finish with a brush as far as hiding the brush strokes. Uh, but uh, overall, I like the performance of this stuff. And uh, of course, uh, you know, it's easy to clean up with water since it's a latex based product. So we'll uh, stop here and continue in a bit. Okay, well, this is the two paints I'm using. Uh, I use this for the uh, kitchen vent. As you can see, this is the Krylon acrylic latex enamel and satin finish. And uh, you can get this at uh, Walmart. I think it's like five or six bucks. Um, I have good faith usually with Krylon paint, so I figured I'd give this a whirl. Um, as I said, I like the uh, satin white finish on this. Uh, now, the light fixtures, I'm going to be using the Interlux Bright Side Polyurethane. Polyurethane, uh, this is there, 4359. Um, this is available uh, either online, you can go to like Jamestown Distributors, or you can just go to your West Marine, they usually have it. Um, but Bright Side is a single component polyurethane. Um, it's going to take much longer to dry, about, well, about three hours uh, less if it's really hot out. But uh, this is much harder paint, usually. Um, it may have been best to even do the vent. So I'm not sure. So uh, we're doing a little bit of experimentation by using different paints on uh, different uh, yellowed surfaces on uh, the Casita. See uh, how they fare out over time. Uh, it's always good to read the back of these. There's always a wealth of information to read uh, as long as you have a magnifying glass. And you will need it, especially on this can, because it's so fine. Yeah camera can't even focus on that, I don't think. So, we'll stop here. Okay, well we got uh, 
one coat on this now. It's, it's probably going to need at least two. But um, I ended up uh, using like a one inch a nylon brush, like an artist brush almost, but relatively stiff. And uh, preparation a light sanding with 320 grit silicon carbide. That's the black stuff, like wet or dry sandpaper used in auto body stuff. You can buy it at Ace. Okay, make sure you tape the bottom here. And then with the brush, if you're pretty good, you can just pretty much use the caulking as your guideline to go around it. Um, you can see this uh, is kind of a self-leveling paint, so the brush strokes aren't too hideous. Uh, after the second coat, we'll uh, tip it out with a foam brush again, and uh, usually that gets rid of about 85% of them. But uh, you can see it matches the color of the Casita, Casita pretty good. Uh, actually, this paint itself is just a tiny lux above the actual gel coat, which is cool. Uh, if we compare this uh, the way it looks with what we have on the front of the trailer, which I haven't done yet, um, the color is a little washed out here in the video, but you can see it uh, swears at it pretty good compared to what we're dealing with over there, which you know matches in pretty well. Incidentally, I noticed this is drying really good. I really like the way that's looking. So uh, I think uh, this paint, the polyurethane, is uh, definitely more difficult to work with. It's a little more runnier and less forgiving, more of a professional type of paint. Um, if you put it on with a brush, you have to be a bit more careful than you have to with the uh, latex acrylic enamel by Krylon. I think it has a little bit more uh, sag resistance. Uh, so you have to put this on very thin, very careful. Uh, I noticed it start to tack up right away. It's about 87 out right now with a meh, moderately high humidity, so uh, uh, not the easiest paint in the world, but uh, I kind of like the way it looks. You know, it definitely has a uh, plasticized look about it, you know? And, you know, it has some sheen to it, so uh, you know, no one's going to ever give it a second look but you. Uh, where, you know, the other way, everybody's noticing that uh, frickin' ugly-looking, yellowed-out plastic thing plastered on the side of your trailer. Now, here's the brush I was using to uh, paint it with. Like I said, it's a, about a one-inch wide uh, like a little artist brush. And uh, works pretty good for the purpose. Um, when it starts to tack up, it's good to have this stuff to use with any polyurethane paints. This is an Inalux 216, and it's just a must-have if you work with uh, polyurethane paints. And of course, you can also buy this the same place you got the paint, West Marine. It's about uh, $20 a can or something. None of this stuff is cheap, but uh, it's boat stuff. Okay, guys, well, this is uh, day two. And uh, or is it day three? And uh, we've put on a second coat. We've let it dry for a day. And uh, really happy with the finish. Uh, I ended up using kind of a soft sable, sable brush about a half inch wide to do the second coat here. Um, it's got very good coverage with just two coats. So I really don't think it needs a third probably. So probably won't do a third. Mm. The self-leveling properties of the uh, paint, and again we're talking about the uh, Interlux Brightside polyurethane paint here, are very impressive. In fact, I challenge you to see a brush stroke in it. It's pretty much impossible. And so it gives a very nice finish. Certainly a very nice remediation, you know what that means from my previous videos, to the uh, standard yellowing plastic that you have on your casita. Looks equally good over here for the one above the door. Since I'm over here, I don't know if you noticed this, but uh, I really think these are worth putting in so you can see who's knocking at your door, rather than opening your door. But I'm kind of security minded there, so I'm sure that doesn't surprise you. 
And you can see the uh, big vent down there with its nice semi-gloss or satin finish. I'm done in the uh, Krylon acrylic enamel. Actually, it's a latex acrylic enamel if we want to use the full vernacular. So we'll probably uh, carefully take this tape off. A good thing to do with the tape when you take it off is press downward on the nail before you remove it. Try to start a crack there. If not, you can actually start to lift it off, off the surface, which is uh, oh, ruin your day real quick. And put the lens back in. So this is a nice little upgrade for your uh, casita. Just a little final few. Looks pretty good, huh?